Teresita Sheffers, do you think today uh, the position that uh, President uh, Putin has taken with regards to India and China having concerns and uh, the position that Prime Minister Modi has taken, which is not different from what he's been saying in his phone conversations to both uh, President Putin and President Zelensky, but today sitting across President Putin when he asks him uh, to find a solution uh, to the global energy and food crisis, which indirectly means that uh, this has been triggered by war, let's stop the war. Do you think that India has now shifted its position, uh, something that the West wanted, or continues to take a neutral position and uh, uh, weigh upon uh, Pu President Putin or Russia because India shares a good relationship with Russia as well? How do you view it? Thank you, and thank you for inviting me to speak on this panel. Um, India has a long history of trying to avoid having to make choices between its relations with the different large powers. And this whole episode is an example of that. Uh, India and the United States have built up a very strong relationship over the past, oh, 30 years, really. Um, India has never wanted to have that be at the sacrifice of its relationship either with Russia or with China. Um, and when the uh, Russian invasion first took place, uh, India was very consistent in saying this war has to end, uh, but it did not want to cast the blame anywhere. So I think it's pretty much still in that same place uh, with the observation that this is a more pointed comment, the idea that Russia needs to take the initiative is a more pointed comment than the government of India has made in the past. Uh, Putin's statement that he understands India's and China's concerns uh, is nice, but I think not terribly meaningful. Um, he has acknowledged publicly today and before that um, the reverses that the Soviet, the, sorry, the Russian army has had uh, in the past few days, and then has blamed the absence of peace talks on Ukraine. Um, I don't think that is credible because Russia too has not been interested in peace talks unless they uh, leave Russia in possession of a substantial ch chunk of Ukraine, which is what the Ukrainians don't want. Okay.